will take their first Stanley Cup home to Chicago in 23 years. All right, left wing, over the Blues line, looking for his first NHL goal. He snaps it toward the net, blocked by Johnson. Take it back, they score! It's the trailer. Keith shoots the save. Rebound. Keith scores. My exact job title is president and CEO. I'm responsible for uh, the overseeing the hockey operations and the business operations and hiring the right people, putting them in the right places, making sure that they make good decisions, being very supportive, being part of the process, but uh, just making sure that the organization is running smoothly and interacting with everybody as much as I can. I knew I wanted to do this being in sports management at a very young age. I was hired by the Chicago Sting of the North American Soccer League in 1980. And how that came about, I graduated from college in 1975 with the mission that I was going to get into professional sports. And I was going to give it till about 30 years old. So I graduated from college when I was 22. I wrote a personal letter to every team in the NBA, the NFL, the NHL, and Major League Baseball. Uh, it took about seven months to do. The woman who typed all of these letters, who's been my wife of 36 years, sent those out. And But if I was going to write somebody a letter, whether it was the New York Jets or the Pittsburgh Pirates or the Chicago Cubs or whomever, it was going to be about their season, about their organization. So it took me, I would write about three or four letters over the course of a summer per night. And I remember getting a rejection letter from the Pittsburgh Pirates. It was the first one, and it was kind of an epiphany that they knew I was out there, and that gave me, over the course of four or five years until I did get into professional sports, it kind of gave me the incentive to keep going. Well, I had been with the Chicago Sting, and a gentleman by the name of Jim Finks, uh, who was president of the Cubs at the time, had called the Chicago Sting, a gentleman by the name of Lee Stern, our brilliant owner of the Sting. We had won the Soccer Bowl Championship in 1981 in the National uh, North American Soccer League. We beat the New York Cosmos in Toronto. And in 1983, the Sting asked the Cubs for permission to speak to me, and I was hired just a few days later. And having an opportunity to get into Major League Baseball was my dream. Now. I did not grow up a Cubs fan. So to a lot of my friends, it was the ultimate betrayal that I would go to work for the Cubs, but it was one of the great experiences of my life. My first job was director of sales and promotions, and then it was director of marketing, and then it was vice president of marketing and broadcasting, and I had seven or eight different jobs, and ultimately the president of the Cubs uh, for my last uh, year or so. My year with the Cubs in 2007, we won the division. And we played the Arizona Diamondbacks in the playoffs and got swept. And uh, Bill Wirtz had passed away, the owner and president of the Blackhawks. And Rocky Wirtz uh, took over. And I received a call from an emissary from him. And he asked to get together. And us, we had a conversation. And our philosophies lined up and our strategies lined up and we talked about our families and some other things and about five hours into what I thought was just going to be a get acquainted lunch, Rocky had offered me the job to become president of the Blackhawks. Now I was president of the Cubs at the time so it was a real roll of the dice but I bought into Rocky so much and there was an ownership change going on at the time with the Cubs um, I decided to make this move. When I came here in 2007, uh, we had to make many whole wholesale changes with the staff and everybody in the organization. And we decided that we were going to go young. So we've got a young, dynamic, enthusiastic staff that has been part of some things that have never been done before. We're never, we don't accept status quo. We're, we're never satisfied. We're fortunate to have gone to the Western Conference Finals uh, five times in the last seven years. We've won the Stanley Cup uh, three times uh, in the last six years, and yet there's this voracious hunger 
an appetite that's kind of bundled with humility that we need to keep this thing going. We were off the radar for a while for a number of years and we're trying to build this fan base back with a lot of young people like you, but it's going to take decades. The Blackhawks are, are going to be measured in decades and decades, not just chunks of six, seven years. The legacy for me is not going to be championships. Um, it's not going to be uh, uh, games won. It's going to be the people that you hired and the people who they hire. So I'm so proud of all these people and I've always felt in my career that when you hire someone you've got to really pull for them. But you've got to teach them, you've got to spend time with them, you've got to make sure they clearly understand what your expectations are, but you want to see them succeed. The best moment was when we won the Stanley Cup in 2010. The team hadn't won the Stanley Cup since 19, well, for 49 years. So it was 1961, and I felt we had a chance to win another one, but we had to break up the team because of the salary cap, and our brilliant general manager, Stan Bowman, was able to reconstruct that team. We won again in 13, we won again in 15, and it's very surreal right now. You know, the, the funniest moment that's, that, that's happened here is just the daily interaction that we have. Uh, our hockey operations and our business operations, it's a collaboration. And I, I love hiring young people. I like the, the cacophony of laughter. I like kind of an organization that's comfortably uncomfortable. But there's a lot of laughter that goes on here all of the time. I'm so lucky. And what, uh, what our organization has achieved uh, in the last seven or eight years has been remarkable. I've played a very, very small fractional role of all of this, but it's been a lot of fun to be a part of. Um, we just have to keep it going now.